training. Warm up time. All right, let's keep this going. Let's get cracking. Now we're not gonna go on for too long because we all know it and you've, I'm sure you've been practicing your voice and your breathing and your articulation, modulation, absolutely everything on your own. You just wanna do the games, but we're gonna quickly warm up together. First, obviously the breath. So we'll do the exercise of ki and ka. Do you remember that one? You inhale, so it means take a breath in on the side of ki, and then you blow out, exhale on the sound of ka. So take a deep breath and then blow it all out. And ready? And you can use your hands and that's in in and and good job. You should still feel it in the tummy, so let's try the sh shushing sound. Play with the sounds and the rhythm as well. Right? Have fun with that. Now we're going to do our um, warm up of the, for the voice as well. So let's gently hum. Remember, if you just place your lips gently together, you'll feel a little vibration. It'll actually give you a bit of a tingle. It tickles the lips. Ready? Hum. Feel the sound now let's feel the sound remember our body is full of cavities we're like a violin we're very musical aren't we because our body's like a violin and what do you think makes the sound so beautiful in a violin for example well it's the cavity it's what's inside and how the sound bounces around and of course it's the beauty of the wood and i guess you're the wood if you're the instrument you are the violin ready so let's just explore the different sounds really deep uh, even deeper. Uh, like an ogre. Uh, and now really high. Uh, even higher. Uh, very good. I don't want to sing. It's not a singing exercise. So don't worry if you think, oh, I can't sing because I can't either. My kids beg me not to sing. I told you that before. All right. Now we're going to practice. Oh, we're going to warm up the lips. So stretch them out, crunch it up, stretch it out, and now we're going to play with volume and pitch and, um, and tempo as well. So we're going to say something very simple. I'm sure you all know row, row your boat. So we're going to go row, row, row your boat, but this time we're going to try and do it really, really slowly. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. It's a bit boring. One breath. And now we're going to go really fast the rest of it. Merrily, 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 life in the cream. I think that's how it goes. There's also different versions of it. Now, what about this time? Let's do it as if we're ogres and we're kind of marching ogres. So, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. And this one, let's be little fairies. And let's try and do it as if we are super excited about it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And, and really tired and a bit bored with it. This is getting boring. Row. Oh, row your boat, yawning. Love gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. 
Actually, yawning is a really good exercise. Even just pretend or fake um, yawning because it opens that throat nice and wide, especially in the back, and lets the sound come out. Lets the sound come out. Beautiful. One more, and then we'll move on to some tongue twisters. We all love those tongue twisters. So let's do row, row, row your boat as if we are really, really scared. Uh, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. Now, think about it. What have you noticed about the different ways? Um, how did it feel? How did you change? Do you notice maybe when we're happy we're loud and really our actions are big and the voice generally goes high as well we go high if we're angry we often go all tense we kind of lock off we close ourselves off and we we often the voice is really harsh now if we're bored it's also slow and low and when we are scared, it was a bit staccato, which is like a little broken up, it was chopped up. See how different feelings change the way we speak and the change it changes also, the feelings change the way we communicate with our bodies. It's cool, isn't it? All right, tongue twisters. We're gonna do some tongue twisters for the lips. So how about something similar to the Peter Piper, but not Peter Piper this time, although packing pickles poses problems. Packing pickles poses problems. Packing pickles poses problems. Try that. Packing, and you can practice over and over. You can stop me, you can pause me. Press pause. And here I go again. Packing pickles poses problems. Now, we're gonna do the tongue one. What about leave the lazy lions alone? Leave the lazy lions alone. Leave the lazy lions alone. Play with that, you know? And you can go and say to mom, leave the lazy lions alone. Or your sisters or brothers now try um this is for the the back of the tongue and also for what we call the soft palate that's the top of your mouth right uh how about i'm thinking of singing a movie song that's one of them i'm thinking of singing a movie song i'm thinking of singing a movie song i'm thinking of singing a movie song and that's it i'll do one more just for practice, this is one of my favorite ones. The chop, shop, stocks, chops. The chop, shop, stocks, chops. Chop, shop, stocks, chops. Try that one and see if you can challenge your family. See who um, wins that challenge. I'm sure you will. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hello, everybody. My cat is cold. So what do you do when you're cold? You put on a jacket if you can. All right. We had a fabulous time in the mo at the moon, on the moon. On the moon, inside the moon too. Did you know there's a lot of caves on the moon? We went exploring and we were floating because there's, there's no air. That was weird for us, wasn't it? But we floated. Can you show me how you float? Oh, that is beautiful. Don't fly off, don't fly off. Hold on. Very good. Anyhow, the pot today said she wants to know it's it's a girl. We're all girls. I like girls. We're all girls together. The pot wants to know all about you. Hmm. So can you tell me what is your favorite character from a fairy tale? Yes, come and tell me and why. Of course you can mention me. Ha! I am definitely your favorite. So a second favorite. Alright, so if you like a princess. Maybe you like, I like Merida, apparently. Yes, Merida is good because she's strong. She rides horses and she shoots arrows. But tell me, who is your favorite character and why? You look funny, huh? All right. And good, come on, yell it out. Think about it. You need to tell me why and answer it full sentence. Say, my favorite character from a fairy tale is... And you tell me. Very good. Go on. Ah, and the pot also wants to know... Yes, 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 yes. Can you tell us what is your favorite 
sport and why again why if you like swimming oh i don't like swimming i melt in water water melts me that's not fun is it but tell me about your favorite sport and why it is your favorite sport okay what's your favorite sport cat cat ball huh mm -hmm. all right My favorite sport is running running is good yes cats like run. and now tell me what is your favorite come on put stir it up ah yes what is your favorite animal? He can become the animal. Come on, show me your animal. And why is it your favorite animal? You can say, I like spiders because they make beautiful spider webs. Or you can tell me, I love cockroaches because they're so creepy and disgusting. Tell me, what is your favorite animal and why? Some people like dogs. I like dogs too. They are pretty cool. We've got lots of dogs. There's one in the back. You can see her bottom. She's just walking around. Yes. We've already met our dogs. Come on, come on out, you silly. Come, come on. There it is. Magic. And if she's naughty, I will put her in the pot. No, we won't put her in the pot. Now. And, ah, oh, but the pot has another question. The other, another question, yes. The pot wants to know, shush. The pot wants to know. Why do you like chippies? Do you like chips? You like chippies? And do you like maybe chicken nuggets? Who likes pizza? <laughs> yes, but the pot tells me apparently it is a sometime food. Now, why is it a sometime food? Why can't we eat? Hey, wait for it, cat. Why can't we eat it all the time? Can you tell me why we can't eat pizza? Or chippies all the time? What does it do to us? Okay, get your arms gonna, your paws gonna fall off. Yes, <laughs> one reason, quick. Um, because it's only for, because it's not that healthy. It's not that healthy, that is good point. Maybe we need more other healthy foods, but yes, it's only a sometime food. What about chocolate? Uh -uh. Not every day, why is chocolate? What does it do to us? Chocolate maybe what? Give us cavities. It gives us cavities. So we need to brush our teeth after I've been told I need to brush my teeth. First we brush our teeth everywhere. Everywhere. Can you tell me what do I need? How do I brush my teeth then? Can you teach me properly? I need, what do I need? What did you say? What do I need to bring? What do I need? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Uh, what do I put it on my finger? No. No? On a on a toothbrush. Ah, very good. Oh, that's good. You a special one. Hmm. Good job. So, oh, and the pot. The pot wants to know another thing. Actually, it wants to know what is your favorite subject at school. What do you like? Do you like numbers? I don't like numbers. Do you like maths or English? Words, wonderful words. I like words. Yes, what do you like? I like learning how to write. Ah, what do you like? And tell me why you like it. I want to know all about you because you are so gorgeous, so beautiful, so wonderful. <laughs> I yes, you are all of you. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. I will see you next time. Don't forget, I can read your minds only when you want me to. Don't worry. All right, bye-bye. The pot says bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Luna again. How are you? So did you have fun playing with hats and playing with various random objects, just making them into other things and using them as other things? What could we do today? I thought, well, we can have one random object and see what we can create it into. Look what I've got here. It's a piece of rope but what can we use it as do you think oh it could be my scar beautiful but we have a shawl actually i feel so beautiful and cool ha, beautiful shawl or what if it is a, a, a oh it's we're riding horses we're gonna be horse riding it's our reins you like this actually oh yeah come on come on come on come on go go or it could be what else could it be it could be a life rope. Somebody's swimming and they are too far. So let's throw them a life line. Whoa, and pull them in. Can you pull them in? Oh, can you feel it? But make sure you feel it. How, oh my goodness, it's really heavy. 
Come on. Geek. Oh, pull them up. Pull them up. Come on, pull them out of the water. Oh, I think I've pulled a lot of stuff out of the water. Oh my goodness, there it is. What else do you think it could be? It could be, oh, maybe it's a phone line. Hello, hello, how are you? It's the old fashioned phone, not like the more, you know, hands free. This is the one you gotta pick up and it's got a cord, curly cord. Hello, how are you? I know what it is. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's a big snake. Uh, it's a big, big snake. Oh, and it's called twirling itself around me. Look, 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 it's going all around me. It's tangling me in its body. Whoa, and I've got my cheek helper. Come on, helping me. Oh, we've got a real snake coming up. Look at this. Whoa, you can grab some toys and see what you've got. Let's sweet wee baby that one. Whoa. I am, who could you be? I am a magician and this is my snake. Whoa. So you can use your toys. Look, they, look at this snake. Oh, I am Madame Bluey. And look at the snake. It's really cool. What does a snake do? And they've got really cool. Can you act like a snake now? Let's be, let's explore the world of animals. How cool is that? Let's be different animals. I love being animals. So we've got a snake, a slithering snake, and you'll be snakes on the floor. Remember, you don't have arms or legs, so you can't walk. Slithering snakes. And I've got another one here, look, a crocodile. Ooh, crocodile with a smile, biting its tail. Oh, whoa, whoa. it's the ultimate crocodile pretzel. Now let's all be crocodiles. Snap, 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 snap. I like crocodiles, but only from a distance. Who's your favorite animal? Come on, yell it out. Oh, a cat, somebody said a cat. Let's all be cats. Cats are usually, oh, they like to spat stay in the sun and then they wash themselves don't lick yourself for real f pretend that uh, um, and they 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 scratch themselves and what is that one what do you like what do you like wolves wolves let's all be wolves they're a bit different to doggies they sit and howl at the moon can you sit like a like a wolf nice and straight they actually howl they howl uh, they howl in a full moon they yes a full moon let's all howl at the full moon and that is cool what about frogs froggies rabbit 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 Ooh, what else do you think we could be? <gasps> Gorillas. <laughs> Maybe a gorilla who can see a camera for the first time. <laughs> and there's a hand up, what else? How about what? Quick. Owls. Owls. Owls have a funny head. They can turn it. And I've got a, a funny animal coming up in a minute. But owls. What do owls do? What sound do they do? Hoot, hoot. That's a real doggy here. Look at this. Maybe we can all be puppies. Look. That is Barry. Okay, you have to turn around. See, that's Barry. And that's Tick. Tick's come to join us. Hello, Tick. Can you say hi to the girls and boys? Say hi, guys. We're gonna pretend to be puppies now since we have a real puppy here. And we have a fat dog. Yeah, we've got a fat one too, but this one's not the one. This one's the, the puppy. And let's dig in the garden. Dig, 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 dig for a bone. Do you like bones? No, yes. Dig, 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 dig. Can you dig too, Kisha? I can dig. Okay, move. Okay, <laughs> move, move, move. And dig, dig, dig. And smell. And then we've got an itch. Scratch, scratch that itch. And maybe we scratch with our back leg. Can you scratch with your back leg? Scratch, I scratch, can. scratch, scratch. That's uh, very good. I can. And, oh. And we can see a ball. Cool. cool. A ball. Whoa. 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 And chase your tail. Can you chase your tail? Chase your tail. Chase your tail. Chase your tail. Very good. What other animal can we be? Yes, quick. Lions. Lions. But we are prowling lions. How about mummy lions? Mummy lion and prowling though. How do lions prowl? 
They're very yeah. proud. That's roaring, yes. We can go roar, but let's prowl. Making sure nobody can see us and hear us in the jungle. Just prowling. And we're gonna go. Roar. What other animal can we be? How about a Tweety Bird? Tweety Bird? Tweety Bird? Don't eat me, doggy. Don't eat me. And make it bigger, bigger. Maybe we can now become eagles. Beautiful, majestic eagles. And chickens. Chickens. I feel like chickens. That's not how you do it? Yeah, well, that's how I do it. No, I do it. Dig. I should Dig. like a... Yeah, some people do it like that. Yes, that is true. What other animal do you think we can be? How about elephants? Elephants on parade. So some people do this. Did you know that elephants cannot jump? Apparently they can't jump, but they can march. Whoa. There's the trunk. Whoa. What other animals are there? How about seals? Seals are fun, they're really playful, and they've got flippers. Can you be a seal? Yes? How about we do dolphins? Dolphins! I love dolphins. Have you ever been swimming with a dolphin? I have. It's so much fun. And what do they do? They dive in and out, and in and out. And can you dive in and out? Out, oh, very good. What about hmm? What other animals are there? There's tiny little mice. Can you be a mouse? How about me? Little me? mouse, wear a mouse first. First, a mouse. And oh, scurry, scurry, scurry for some cheese. No, that's an old cheese. I don't like the cheese, stinky cheese. Or oh, what other animal? Penguins. Penguins walk funny, don't they? They've got those like this. And a lot of them, a lot of the times, the daddy penguins carry those eggs, do you know? And they're on their flippers, so they have to be very careful marching in the line. It's like a conga line. Penguin conga, how cool is that? Oh, and how about piggies? You can even roll in the mud, they like that. I'm not gonna roll, but oh. And they like to have their back scratch. Oh. That's a cool one. What about horses? Who likes? Oh, you could be a unicorn. Yeah, unicorns are fun. Unicorns are awesome. They're for everyone, aren't they? And there's one unicorn we all like. It's Thelma the unicorn. Hmm, we could be Thelma or Thelmess if we wanted to be a boy. So we could have that little horn, unicorn horn, and we could be galloping. And flying unicorns, they you know, what are they called? The horses that fly Pegasus. We could be a flying Pegasus. What other animal do you think you could be? Hmm, monkeys? Monkeys are a bit different to gorillas. Oh, 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 and they like to throw things. Oh, 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 yes. One more last one. Red, red, Banana. Red, how about a monkey with a red bottom? Oh, one of those. Yes, one of those monkeys with the red bottoms and red faces. Hmm, we could be those. Ho, ho, we could ho, 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 ho. And that's the end of our lesson. It's like the zoo. What other animal can you be? Can you play at home and surprise mum? Maybe you can be an animal the whole day. But just make sure you don't drink out of the dog's bowl, okay? Not a good idea. Bye. Hi, guys back are you enjoying your time with me well i certainly love having you around and visiting my house now we're looking at poetry again and looking at some fun words and having lots and lots of exciting time with books who loves books you know what i was thinking maybe you can create your own book while you have the time you can just get some paper maybe staple it together and then you can write a book about yourself or you can write an adventure about yourself you know you can go on an adventure you, and you don't have to leave the house to have lots of exciting time and to have to go on journeys and 
and travel around the world. He can do so many things. All right, and I promise to give you some funny words by some funny, funny writers like Roald Dahl. Remember I mentioned Roald Dahl and his wicked poems and his cool things? There is one word that I really, really like, and I'm sure you will like it too. Um, bumfuzzle. Isn't that a fun word? And it's a real word. You can use it. It means to be kind of confused. So you can say, I am so bumfuzzled. Really, really bumfuzzled. It's a new word, isn't it? And it's not a rude word. You know, people say it's a rude word, but it's actually not. Now, we are going to look at some nice poems. I've got so many here again, but I thought about homework. Do you guys like doing homework? Right? I bet not. Well, sometimes. Some homework is, I'm sure, exciting, and some work is a bit boring, but it's very important that we do it, isn't it? Now, I don't like maths, so I never like maths. Um, you might like maths. I never like doing my maths homework, but I have a poem by another writer that is very, very, very cool. His name is very hard to pronounce. It's Jack Prolutsky. I've got it right there because I could not see. Jack Prolutsky. And he wrote this poem that is called Homework, Oh Homework. I will do it for you and maybe I will send it to you and you can practice that at home. All right, it goes like this. Homework, oh homework. I hate you, you stink. That is so cool. I like saying that. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. And that's a rhyme, isn't it? If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework, oh homework. You're giving me fits. As long as it's not nits. So let's try that one again. Maybe you can, if you have it there, you can say it with me. Read it with me, yeah? Homework, oh homework. I hate you, you stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework, oh homework. You're giving me fits. I'd rather take baths with a man eating shark. Oh, I don't think so. Or wrestle a lion alone in the dark. Eat spinach and liver Pet ten porcupines, then tackle the homework my teacher assigns. I'm not so sure about that, Chuck. What do you think? Petting a porcupine, that would be rather ouchy, wouldn't it? And, well, liver and spinach, ugh. Actually, I like liver, and I like spinach. But some of you might not. You should give it a try, though. Homework, I'm homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework, oh homework, I hate you. You stick. What do you think of that? That's a pretty cool part. Maybe you can do it for your mom or for your sister. I have so many poems here, I can't even choose. What about if we talk about an adverb poem? That is something you can write yourself. Do you know what an adverb is? I'm sure you do. Adverb, for example, is bravely. That is a description, isn't it? How you do something. And you can write an adverb poem where you start with that word and then you do a description. I wrote one, and you like to write occasionally. It's bravely nights. You know what nights? Nights, so not as in dark nights, but those nights in shining armor that gallop to save the damsel in distress. No, but I, no, no knights ever gallop to save me. Maybe they don't like saving fairies or just me. Bravely knights march down the track. And the next line has to start with bravely again. Bravely witches fly to the moon and back. Bravely Hansel and Gretel gobble their dinner. Bravely Tom Thumb declares, I'm a winner. Bravely fairies fly me in the sky. Bravely they all wave goodbye. So maybe you can try that. Write one adverb at the beginning of your lines and maybe say five lines and then each time you start that, your poem, start the line with that word bravely. Or it could be, well, how else can I do it? Think about it. That's just up to you. Now, we've got alliterative poems too. It's when the first, okay, so we can do an um, alliteration that where everything starts with the same. Remember alliteration? You can hold, write a whole poem like that. 
or you can go one, two, three. That is a pretty cool thing too, when you go one, two, three, and then each time it has to be something, right? So you can write down pages on your page. Sorry, you can write down numbers down the page. One, two, three, four, five, as many as you like. And then each time it starts with that one number. So it could be like this. I wrote one as well. I have lots of fun writing. One overweight ogre see and it's funny because not only it is alliterative you see it's also number one because each word starts with the same sound can you think of it listen to this oh one overweight ogre overeating outrageously on oatmeal and then we have two two timid trolls talking tirelessly through the trip three Three thriving tarantulas, terrorizing and taunting the tall titan. Four, four fierce fawns, fighting fanged fireflies. And five, five fearless fairies, flying fantastically fast. So maybe you can try writing one. You can create our own poems. And then when we all come back and see each other again, we can share them. That would be so exciting. I can't wait to see all of you and hear all your wonderful poems. So you can try that one. You just, we can try one um, with your mum. You can write mother down the page. See, M-O-T-H-E-R. And then you start each line with that letter. So magnificent mother magically makes me happy that doesn't start with m it doesn't have to all start with m or mom or my mom is wonderful and oh for mother oh outrageous mother oh um, you know whatever you want i'm not gonna tell you how what your mom's like because you know your mom right so let's have a look if we have we can start reading one little book and maybe we don't finish it, but it's the Gruffalo. Who likes the Gruffalo's child? I love Gruffalo. And I actually saw the show. If you ever get a chance to watch the show, it's an amazing show. I took my daughter. So it's a tiny book, tiny little Gruffalo book. But I really like it. Do you know the Gruffalo? We can act it out too, because it's one of those books that you can really act out well. Let's do this. A mouse took a tr stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Oh, it's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why, didn't you know? Look at the fox, see? Oh, he has why? Oh, he has terrible tusks, terrible claws, and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Maybe you can, you can draw a picture of the Gruffalo. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Ooh, roasted fox, I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there is no such thing as the Gruffalo? Oh, do you, can you imagine the Gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked mm, yum yum good. Oh, oh, how what does an owl do? Hoot, 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 hoot. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. Look who's come to visit. Oh, don't kiss me. Your breath smells like stinky salt. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, come and have tea. The owl wants the gruffalo, I mean the mouse to have tea. But do you know what the mouse, you know, mouse knows. Do you know what the mouse is going to be if it goes up the tree? Lunch! It's frightfully nice of you, owl. But no, I'm going to have tea. With who? The Gruffalo. It's a rhyming book. I like this. Ooh, 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 a Gruffalo. Ooh, 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 what's a Gruffalo? Who's a Gruffalo? Ooh, a Gruffalo. 
Why didn't you know? Do you know what a Gruffalo is? <gasps> we do. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. See, there it is. All those bloody, disgusting things. Whoa. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. And away owl flew. Silly old fly, silly old owl, doesn't he know? There is no such thing as the Gruffalo. <gasps> but here yeah, is there. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse look deliciously good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, Snake. But no, I am having a feast with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, don't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. <gasps> scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake. Doesn't he know? There is no such thing as the gruffalo. Oh! <gasps> But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and poisonous wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange and his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, 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 it's Gruffalo. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. See, that's the Gruffalo, and there's my fairy. Want my child so bad? She's listening to the story like you. She's having a nap. You'll t oh, good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me, and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. Ha <laughs> ha! You go ahead, and I'll follow after. <laughs> they walked and walked. Till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said goodbye, little mouse. And how he slid into his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, what my little mouse? And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Foxy, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tongue is beginning to rumble. My favorite food is Gruffalo crumble! Gruffalo crumble! The Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet. In the deep, dark wood, the mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. That was so cool. But you know what? I love the Gruffalo's child even more. Maybe next time we can read that. <laughs>
Now go have fun. Maybe act it out. You can be the mouse. You can be the owl. You can be the slithering snake. Even the gruffalo. Bye, guys.